An organization is giving you the chance to save lives right here on campus. Our reporter Alfonso Valdivia gave his blood, sweat, and tears to get us the information on how you can help. Unfortunately, in the U.S., tragic events occur every day that leave thousands of people injured, and each one of them a blood donation to survive. But at the moment, there are not many donors. Right now, we are in what's called an emergency shortage, which means our hospital supply for blood is very, very, very low. Hospitals across the country are in high demand for blood over the holidays. But now, a talent, a non-profit organization, comes to the ALG to help get those blood supplies back up. What we do today actually helps our local hospitals. So if there was an accident, if there was something on WSU's campus, the blood that we collect here today is actually going to help save your fellow students, the local community. Right now, as you're watching me, every two seconds of every day, someone in the U.S. needs blood. I promise you it's not painful at all. And you'll feel amazing knowing that after this, you potentially save up to three people's lives today. But not everyone who can donate will donate. A big part of that. If they don't donate because they're scared of blood or needles, that totally makes sense. Um, something I would tell them is that you can look away. Um, when they put the needle into your arm, you don't even need to watch. I don't even really feel it, so it's not that bad at all. If you want to become a donor, go to vitalin.com or schedule your appointment. Your next WSU blood bank will be on Wednesday, February 1st. It's more than worth it to save people's lives. This is Alfonso Valdivia in Pullman, more news age. It's the most professional picture day you've ever been to. Our reporter Rachel DeAngelis has more on that. It's time to get ready for the Career X 